Well, you thought it was done now, didn't you? <laughs> well, you're in for it now. Anyways, uh, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Colt Mac. I am a friend of Lumen Fide who has asked me to make a sort of analysis for this video. Uh, so here I am, and uh, let's get started. And thankfully it's not raining out, so we can start outside. Uh, this is the Basilica of St. Augustine, uh, which was originally built by a guy named Nicholas Grisales. You can see that here. And it says, I said it was restored by me. Um, but, you know, being an old build uh, with lots of old bricks, I, I kind of wanted to up update it, upgrade it as well. I, I made quite a few changes, but you can you can see for yourself um, by visiting the original build. I'll say something about that later. All right, so let's take a look inside. Here we've got this giant procession uh, kind of uh, depicting a pontifical psalm high mass at the throne which you can see there um, the throne is just the the uh, giant chair that the bishop uses in his own diocese so they don't yeah they it's kind of a mark of a bishop's authority in his own diocese and here you've got the bishop who is going to be celebrating the mass uh, accompanied by a deacon and subdeacon as well as another subdeacon who's holding a book and a third subdeacon who came up in the procession so that's <laughs> Usually you would just have one subdeacon, but in this case you get to have three. Uh, third for boat, acolytes, MCs, there's lots of those. MCs just kind of tell people where to go and stuff. Then you've got all these priests who aren't really doing anything. They just get to watch, as well as these bishops and eastern patriarchs and all that. They're just wearing their regular clothes, whereas the, the deacon, celebrant, these guys have to wear uh, a lot of vestments over their regular habit or um, cassock. Uh, then back here you've got some kind of attendance to the to the bishop. All right, so let's take a look uh, in the sanctuary one more time. There are a couple other things I want to point out. The choir stalls. This is where all the priests who aren't doing anything get to sit during the mass. And over here you've got the high altar, which has a seventh candle. Normally you'd have six or four or two. Um, usually at a big mass like this you'd have six, but there's seven because the bishop is here. So. That's that's kind of interesting, and then the pulpit is just where the 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 preacher will preach from. That's usually the celebrant. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, some a rather empty church here. <laughs> this is because the armor stands. I I mean I used to have it completely filled up, but I had to get rid of them all because they were just causing way too much lag. It wasn't so bad as it was, but rec with recording it was just you know too much. All right, so here's the choir director, choir people, and then the organist with a rather awesome organ. I think this is a, this is my this is my own design. Uh, you've got room for the pedal boards, um, black keys. You can see in there; those are kind of gray, but it's not a huge not a huge deal. But yeah, that's mostly my custom design. I mean, it has some techniques borrowed from other people, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, organ pipes, pretty cool, huge ones too. So it's a pretty big organ. Oh, uh, let's take a look outside. There's a couple more things. Um, here we've got the wedding chapel, which is, you know, fairly self-explanatory, just a chapel where weddings happen. Uh, there's a security guard, looking cool. And then the baptistry. So that's, that's just where people are baptized. You've got the paschal candle right here. And the paschal candle is is uh, it's lit at Easter, the Easter vigil every year for each church. And why can't I get out? Here we go. <laughs> um, yeah, it's used at, you know, different uh, liturgical events like baptisms or funerals as well. And there's some other things I can't think of at the moment. And just for Easter, they use it. And then back here, you've got holy water, confessionals, things like that. Um, well, anyways, with that said, I think that basically gets us to the end. So make sure you check out the description. There's a couple links in there that are that are uh, kind of must see. Um, one of them is to the original build, which is on the, some website for you know posting Minecraft builds, and you can see uh, from that what I've done differently or what I've changed, and and that that should hopefully help. Uh, and then there's also a link to the server, which which hopefully all of you who have Minecraft are gonna check out. Um, you just put that into your IP address thing under um, when you're trying to connect to a new server, and then you connect, and then you can basically come to all these builds, including this one. Um, There's some other ones that I've made, and lots of them that I haven't made, um, and other people have made. They're all really nice, and it'd be great if you would uh, come on and check that out. So with that said, uh, please subscribe, like the video, just regular things, and 
with that, I'll say God bless you all and goodbye.